Your knee hurts and you want to change that and you were told to try lifting weights for strength. I don't think that will help and I'm going to explain to you why and I'll show you two exercises that'll help you plus two strength exercises, special strength exercises to get rid of that pain for good. It's really important to me that you first understand why your knee hurts in the first place. Please, Ina, be so kind and help me explain all of this. What's life like in modern times? We stand, we walk, please take a couple of steps, and back. And now, look at her knees. They're bent, but only slightly. So, we sit. We stand or walk, and we sit. Standing and walking shortens our muscles here on the front side of our upper thighs, the upper thigh extensors. And when we sit, our calf muscles become shorter. This is responsible for the pain and arthrosis in your knees and damaged meniscus because the shortened quadricep pulls your lower calf muscle upwards and this shortened twin muscle, the thick one on the outside here, pulls your upper thigh muscle downwards. And here, subject to this friction in this force field, your pain develops, a pain you want to get rid of. And to help you understand why lifting weights for strength is not such a great idea, please listen up. There's a very common exercise where you hold a weight down here and you have to push that weight up all the way and then the weight brings your leg down again, up and down. And that is supposed to strengthen that muscle up here. However, this exercise has a major downside because in this position, your muscle is at its shortest. And when you start down here, strength is relatively low. The higher your foot gets up, the more strength you need. And with your foot up here, it takes maximum power. And that shortens this muscle even more. And that is one of my objections to strength building via these typical workout machines. The two exercises we're going to show you are for stretching, but they also include a large element of strength building, which is really helping your knee. So, Ina, please uh, get on our knee hero in case you don't have a knee hero. Put your foot on a stack of books or something similar so that your heel can rest on it like this. Lock your knee. Put your other foot one step ahead. And now, with your knee locked, Move your buttocks forward so you can feel a pull on your calf. And then you arch your back on the way down. And now we start with the stretch. So there's a nice pull on your entire calf. Lock your knee completely and push your forefoot against the knee hero, this wedge, and push really hard. Harder, real hard really hard and you could feel the work you're doing right here in your calf where you have that stretch release for a moment and go at it again pushing as hard as you can as hard as you can with all the power you can muster harder harder still harder and release lean more into the stretch and the heel has to stay on the wedge and harder, harder, push harder, maximum force, more, push more, and release, and increase your stretch a bit more, and push again, building up pressure, push hard against the knee hero, keep your knee as locked as possible, locked completely, lock and push, Lock and push and release again and then more into the stretch. Take three deep breaths, deep breaths and slowly exit the position. That was exercise number one. For the second one, the stretching and strength exercise, we'll be needing our knee hero and our stretching strap. In case you don't have a knee hero, Slide something under your knee so there's contact with your knee and your groin as well. We use our knee hero, wedging it in between the thigh and the floor until we have the right height. The groin has to stay down. And why do we need the stretching strap or a belt or a towel? So that you can reach your foot. 
most people can't grab it, can't reach it, when they want to pull their foot towards their buttocks. And this stretches the front part of the upper thigh muscle. Ina, please get a good stretch going, and you at home, get ready. We're about to begin. And now, you push your foot towards the floor with all your strength, as if you wanted to straighten your leg. With all your strength, and at the same time, push your groin hard into the floor, really hard, really hard, harder still. You'll quickly develop a burning sensation in the front of the muscle, but never mind, as long as it's under 10 on your personal pain scale. Push really hard, then release, and then pull more on the strap. The groin always stays on the floor, always down. And again, straighten your leg and hold it with a strap. Push your foot down and stretch. Does it burn? It does? It's okay. As long as it's under 10, keep going. Try harder. If you reach 10, stop, but that usually doesn't happen. And you could take the burn and release. Pull your foot even closer to your buttocks, closer still, closer to your buttocks. And number three, try to straighten your leg and bring that foot to the floor. More power, more power, harder, 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 maximum power, maximum power, more, more, even more. Try and straighten your leg and then release and straighten out your leg. That wraps up exercise number two. And these two exercises will help you to get that tension out of your knees using strength training combined with a stretching exercise so that you'll feel immediate relief right after. If you've liked these strength building stretching exercises, you'll find more exercises for your knee up here. Down here, you can subscribe to our channel and a thumbs up always makes me happy. And please remember to share this video with as many people with knee problems as possible because we want to get rid of knee pain and pain in general.